Or was it just to really pursue a music career? And I mean, you know, not just to put a business out there, but Anjali is on some major league business type stuff yeah. right now. But she will come in and do a feature. You know what I'm she saying? She'll come in. If I, yeah, she'll come in and she, she did a video with my boy JB. And the yeah. song is super jamming. Yeah, right. yeah. She's beautiful yeah. in there. She's the video. She's still Great A media. Name, but she's in Great A media. Great A media. <laughs> she's the video. Goddamn. Oh, who did? Y'all did? Yep. Great A media. Yeah. And I mean, <laughs> If you see her, she's beautiful. She looks, she talks oh, yeah. any, I didn't any artist scene. that's supposed to be on this level. She look on the same level, but she handling the business. But it's not like her, her dream to be this ultimate rap star. You know what I mean? So it's a difference. Like for me, um, at the same time, I got other businesses going on. But just like her, we still, it's people that still want to see us and hear us. So yeah. we out here. You know what I'm saying? And we still doing our music. I do it for love. But then when I tapped into the purpose of what I was doing back in like, like when I dropped my first album, right after I dropped it, like probably 99, 2000 was when I realized my real purpose when people would start inboxing me on MySpace yeah. and would tell me how my music yeah. has have stopped them from killing themselves or they're thinking about killing themselves. And I'm like, oh my God, I never experienced something like this. And I'm typing on the computer like, don't kill yourself. You have more to live for. Woo, 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 woo. And it was like, all I listen to is life struggling pain. They helped me, you know, and whoop, whoop, whoop. And then people just telling me how my, my music really change their life and situations i don't know what i'm gonna tell this person so god you gotta tell me something mm -hmm. so then it started leaving from just the behind the scene messages to these people to go into my music position it's real it's, it's right. real yes. out here that how effective our music and our lyrics are in our songs yeah then the more that i'm because i'm just a realist so if i believe hey man y'all killing each other in the hood y'all tripping if i believe that and i'm telling y'all niggas tripping most likely, I'm going to say it in my sound. Because yeah. that's what I'm talking about. This is what I'm on. My rhymes don't make me who I am. I create my rhymes for who I am. Yeah. That's why everybody be like, yeah, you want to little rap stuff today, you tripping. No, remember, I write my rhymes. My rhymes don't write me. Right. Y'all understand? Yeah. Real talk. So, that's, and, and eventually, as you can see through my albums, I released over 15 albums uh, over my career span and mixtapes all put in together. But they all original anyway, so they're all yeah. albums. But at the end of the day, it was like the beginning how old I was then, you can tell. Yeah. You mean what I'm talking about, how I was counting in them streets. If I said it, I did it. And today, I, I have children. I don't like to see people getting killed. I don't, you're going to hear a lot of that type of stuff in my music because I know the importance of the lyrics in my song. Mm -hmm. I know the importance of your lyrics in your song. Mm -hmm. And guess what I do? When some of my sisters, they might be rapping about all the sex and how they do it, twerking, and maybe getting a lot of attention off of it, this and that. But you know what? I want to do a song with you where we going to talk about this this time. And I kind of throw the challenge to them. And they just need that sometimes. When my daddy was telling me, you jamming, but you got too many cuss words in your song. I'm like, daddy, this rap, this, I ain't this rap anyway, anyway. But today I see the difference. I don't cuss in my music no more. I haven't cussed in my music since my Hustle Hard 4 album. Okay. That was two albums. So the last past two albums out of my 15, those two albums have no profanity. I don't record any more period with profanity. Gotcha. So, but yeah, you don't even know it's missing sense. because the lyrics is still holding. You can huh. just hold it down, yeah, yeah. and you ain't gotta cuss because my music is reaching a broader fan base and the different people that now I can actually go into those schools and and deliver my message through song to those schools. Now I can go into the mosque or I'm go to their events and I'm performing with the Nation of Islam gotcha. because my music is helping and healing these children. You can listen to it now. Back then, if I just had an album full of that, you where you gonna be? In the club or wherever else, all the, the nonsense is going on. I don't live my life in the club like that no more. Nope. It, it takes a real lot of money and situations to really get me into a club to pay me to come to a club to do a show. Yeah, now, if I go to the club, it's, it's got to be family or it got to be something with my organization with what we're doing. Gotcha. Other than that, I'm not there. I got children. I got bills and I got other got stuff. stuff so we doing. You don't pay it. Y'all looking cute. Y'all look real cute. The club, <laughs> real cute for free. You pay money to get dressed. Your outfit been cost you three, four, five hundred dollars. You on. got you going about a thousand dollar purse, shoes, yeah. makeup, about a hundred dollars on makeup. Oh. All that to go to this club tonight to not even get paid. And I don't even know. Who so you, you gotta respect some of the strippers. I'm just saying because right. uh, I nah, no, I'm just saying you gotta respect some of the at least yeah. they pay. To go to the club yeah, like this, but they get paid to go in the motherfucker. I ain't saying go strip, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Not not but you know, if you got it, you got to do get your bread. You get know your what I'm saying? Now, Queen, you be, like I say, you I, I pay homage. Like to me, you like an idol. Like I said, if it wasn't mm -hmm. you, I probably wouldn't have never 
Uh, you might you was holding it down. You was holding it down behind the mic. So when I was growing up, I heard like I said, I heard Uncle Willie, I heard Scarface, I heard everybody else on the mic. And then I heard you come through. I think I was like fifteen or sixteen when I first heard you on the mic. But before then, I was like, damn, I mean ain't no really no women out here holding it down on the mic. Mm -hmm. So when I heard you on Gorilla Mob, I was like, Oh, oh yeah. Right, right, right. It was like the comics in the WNBA for the first time. It was like, oh shit. Oh, I got a squad I can join, you know. Right, right. A girl? I'm, like, I'm like, oh shit, we got a girl on the mic, and she right. eat these niggas like, right. and she, she can sing. With them. Yeah. Oh shit, she can fucking sing. Mm -hmm. So, like, I salute you, Queen, because you. not only are you rapping and you got your own business going, and you still doing it, like you are still doing it. So I don't care what nobody say. This is the queen of A sound right here. This is the queen of the A sound rap game right here. Like you, you, you can't, you can't say you the queen unless you pay homage to the original queen of the game. I can honestly say, say cliche real. is the original queen of this That's game, real. bro. You have That's done real. it. And now, not on top of that, not only doing the music and the screen printing and the taxes and mm -hmm. all of that. On yeah. top of that, you are doing activist work. Right. And I know this for a fact because. Right. What y'all got going on with the art community? Well, we, uh -huh. the, it, well, we, my baby, uh -huh. we as a family, yeah. we have one on the art community. Uh -huh. I was actually introduced. I, I was introduced to it by Big Bro. I was already out there doing stuff in my community, mm -hmm. and when Bro brought me to it, every time I come to these meetings, this is the most passionate person at the meetings. Cliche oh, wow. is. Passionate, yeah. she like if we she came down at the last meeting thing I was at, and we was like dead. Cliche came, hey y'all, what's up? How y'all doing? Cliche, <laughs> everybody, but everybody woke up and was into the meeting once Cliche walked in the room. You know what I'm saying? And wow. she was the most passionate. She when she reiterates the issues and putting it out there, she's more enthused about it. So it keeps us in tune and it keeps us yeah. alert. You know what I'm saying? So this is a real queen right here. Appreciate like, it. You know what I'm saying? Right. She is really holding it down. Appreciate so it. So what would you say to any of the young girls? That's listening. That want to be like cliche. That want to follow in cliche's footsteps. Cause you've been holding it down. So you was that just me. Thank you. Thank yes, you. I'm talking about, I'm honored. You said all the oh, stuff that man. I ain't got to say. Can these I take are, you everywhere with me? Facts. These <laughs> are facts. Can I take you everywhere with me? Yeah, talk, talk to my girl right here. They going to say cliche and even going to say talk to her. She's okay. Hey, so let me let you know who this is right quick. Because they act like they forgotten. You see the post I had put up, I said, you know, I said, yeah, I, I, I think I'll be yeah. watching your timeline, Clay. I'll be watching. I watch your timeline and I see all the other ones. I'll be like, okay, you motherfucker don't have no respect for real. <laughs> no respect for Y'all got no respect for real royalty out this motherfucker. Like, this is a legend poster right here. It's supposed to be likes, 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 likes. Let, let me, um, let me answer your question. What would I say to, um, the youth, the, the, women, the young women. The young women that's, that's out here. Basically, you said what I normally say. When I say, when you want to call, I'm not in the fight about who want to be the queen and who want to be the princess. I don't care. I'm in my own lane. And I think it. that we all should learn how to get in our own lane. That way you won't be fighting over small shit that ain't paying that's us. Part, right. Real talk. Already helping us, period. So, I'm not into the, the battle of the queen and princess of what makes you a queen. Like I said, I want my song queen. You call yourself a queen, but you don't even know the real meaning of what a queen is. Mm. You Same know what I mean? If you don't know what a queen is, a queen ain't out here. A queen don't go out here and showcase her body like that. This mm -hmm. is honestly. Gotcha. A queen don't go out here and misrepresent what a woman is, period. Gotcha. You know, Miss Queen ain't a uh, queen ain't out here leaving her kids at home with this this dude that's molesting Amen. them. And you better preach. Just cause you going to work and hustle. At the time, as mothers, we have to do a lot that we have to do and sometimes we gotta get it how we live. Yeah, but right. at the same time, what comes first? This money on my kids. My kids do before yeah. this dollar, but it, and before my kids, God does. That's cause right. if I put him in the right position, then the rest will follow him. Yeah, if right. you trust. But a lot of people don't trust, so they try to do it on their own and that's why their life is not balanced. Gotcha. My life is balanced. I don't care about, and don't get me wrong, I have fun and I love to be free. And yes. I tell my boyfriends all the time, DJ Trick is C, yes. that he be like, man, how you just be? I say, you know, I'm so free, he's real preserved. So we balance each other. He's real yes. quiet and I'm <laughs> real loud. So it's really about the balance. But the thing is, like I always tell him, I was like, you're so organized. I wish I was like that one day. But I could be if I practiced it. But that ain't what I want to practice. I like to practice being so free. That I don't want to have, just like you just now got the email, that type yeah. of stuff. I be like, girls, like, yeah, you got to email these people to send them. I hear you, girl, but I know I ain't going to send it. Not that I don't want to, it's just but nice. it just, it's just not for me. I like to be free yeah. of time. That's why I work for myself. Gotcha. Always have worked for myself. 
Yeah. All my life. I think the only time I worked a job was when I was getting my first job when my mom was trying to teach me how to be getting grown when I was like 16. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's how I knew this one for me. I had arguments with my mom. I'm like, hey, you might want, like doing retail. I'm, that ain't for me. That ain't what I do. Gotcha. Because I knew what you make in.